So a few years ago, some guys in Stockholm wanted to try and encourage more people to use the stairs rather than the escalator when coming out of their subway. So uh, instead of all the usual kind of preaching about health and you know you ought to use the stairs more on the way to work, what they did was they brought some engineers in who turned the stairs into a piano um, staircase, a keyboard on the stairs. And what would happen is people would run up and down the stairs and in doing so they'd be playing the piano keyboard. 66% more people used the stairs that day than the escalator just because they made it fun to do. In another experiment, the authorities were trying to cut down on the amount of speeding on a section of busy road. So they had the usual kind of speeding cameras up that would uh, traditionally be used for uh, recording people's number plates and fining them for exceeding the speed limit. This time, however, all the cars that stuck to the speed limit or were under it were entered into a weekly prize draw to win a pot of money. That pot of money was supplied by the people who exceeded the speed limit and their fines automatically went into this pot of money. So can we use these theories of fun to encourage more people to make the right kind of transport choices for London? Well, I think we can. Here's an example of where we're using these kind of theories of fun and gaming to help a company speak to its customers in a very different, very new way. This game uh, is a Reva bus town and it was created for Reva by us because they wanted to engage their customers in a new dialogue and wanted to talk to them in a new way about the services that they offer. So in a Reva bus town, the players get to design, build and manage their own public transport service. Putting down bus depots, bus stops, designing routes around those bus stops and deploying buses of various different types to create a really efficient public transport infrastructure. Now if they do this well, uh, their city starts to grow and gets bigger and bigger and bigger and busier and busier and the player then has a lot more to do to manage the bus service. Uh, they have to deal with roadworks and various other surprising things that happen to disrupt that bus service and of course manage a growing population um, as the city expands. If they do this really well, then the satisfaction of the inhabitants goes up, uh, the traffic uh, congestion on the uh, roads goes down, um, and they can encourage this through installing uh, bus-only routes and uh, routing their buses between bus stops in the most efficient manner. And Arriva uh, use this on an ongoing basis. It's live, it runs across the web online through Facebook, uh, on smartphone devices such as iPhones and Android phones and tablets like the iPad, um, Samsung tablets, etc. And uh, it's been a really big success. Something like uh, 11,000 uh, Reva customers have installed the game to date. Now we see a massive opportunity here to take this and expand it and improve on it to provide a London-wide transport simulation game where players are interacting with the underground and with buses and with overland trains and all the other public sort of transport infrastructure, um, designing and rejigging uh, the city's um, transport network. We also see it as a fantastic training aid. So games are increasingly used more and more in training environments to get across key learning objectives and make them memorable. Uh, lastly, we also see a big potential in the game uh, to work across various partners that deliver services to London Transport. So the partners could get together and literally 
simulate and game out the effect of changes on the transportation infrastructure. And you could see it becoming not only a great planning tool, but also something that periodically the partners who provide London Transport's uh, systems can get together and literally play out the impact of the changes on their own systems uh, to the systems of others. So there's all sorts of uh, potential here just from this sort of basic um, engine that we've created for Arriva uh, to grow it into a London citywide uh, transport simulation game.